Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. As you know, we got a whole bunch of new auras, uh, what is known as the Power Auras. And basically they made a bunch of auras for each powers in this universe online. So let's take a look at those auras. I made a couple of videos about that already, but I didn't make a video where I show all the auras. And I know that I had said I wasn't going to get all the auras. And it turns out I'm a liar, liar, pants on fire, because I actually did get all the auras. Uh, I got all the auras for my multiverse characters, and I even got the auras for a couple of other characters. So let's take a look at all the powers auras we got, thanks to the Mega Capsule. Uh, we still have one week, more or less, to be able to, to open the Mega Capsules. Technically more than that, but roughly we, we still have a week where the Mega Capsule will drop in the game. So here we can see the Arctic Aura. It's a really nice looking aura. If you've been playing a, an ice character, this is the aura you've been waiting for. And there's quite a few styles nowadays for a, an ice-based character. So if you've been meaning to recreate your friend uh, Captain Cold or Mr. Freeze or a whole bunch of, of ice-based uh, character, as you can see, the Arctic Aura looks really darn good. There was there was a few auras that we could use in the past for an ice-based character, but now that we have the Arctic Aura, if you can get your hand on that aura, do so because as you can see, it looks pretty darn good. Next is the Enigmatic Aura. This is supposed to be the aura made for the mental power, and it looks pretty darn sweet. And it it it, it has the, the appropriate name. Enigmatic Aura kind of fits with that uh, that look. There are quite a few purple auras that kind of look like that, but uh, not quite. Uh, not quite. So if if you're looking for a nice looking aura for your mental character. The Enigmatic Aura is a pretty good option. And it's not very expensive on the broker right now. So if you get the, the chance, buy it on the broker right now. As I mentioned, you can get those auras from the Mecha Capsules. But if you're looking for a very specific aura, go buy them on the broker. And some of those auras are pretty darn cheap, which is one of, one of the reasons why I did purchase all the auras for, for this character. Next, we have the first aura for the evil Red Lantern characters. Uh, there's quite a few red auras that you can use with your Red Lantern character, but as you can see, the first aura works pretty darn well for your, your Red Lantern character. Obviously, you can use it for other characters than the Red Lantern, but technically, the Red, pow the, the red Lantern power... Technically, the Rage power is a Red Lantern power, so, uh, call me crazy, but I would be really tempted to create a Red Lantern character using uh, the Red Lantern power and the Red Lantern aura. But you don't have to. You could create any, any type of uh, character you want. But as you can see, the Red aura looks... The, the first aura looks pretty darn good. Again, this is the Rage aura, the aura for the Rage power, or for the Red Lantern power if you prefer. Next is the Glorious aura. Uh, basically, there's a few, there's a couple of powers that have more than one aura. Uh, for example, the light powers has two aura: one aura for the green lantern power, and one aura for the red uh, for the yellow lantern power. The celestial power has a similar thing. Uh, basically, for celestial, you have the corrupted side of the power, and you have the good side of the power. The, the name escapes me right now. So this is basically the aura for the good side of the evil celestial power. As you can see, I recreated a somewhat looking, a somewhat looking uh, Spectre character to go with that aura. And this here is the Wicked Aura for the evil side of the Celestial Power. Basically, the corrupted side of the Celestial Power. Uh, ideally, I should have uh, these auras with a character that actually uses the power in order, in order to be able to show how the, the aura looks like when the character uses his power. Uh, sadly, it wasn't really an option. Maybe in the future, I'm going to be able to get the auras for all my characters. But right now, I was able to get uh, all the auras for my multiverse. And I only got the auras for with a few of my other characters. Uh, I'll show you a few of those in just a minute. But here, basically, we have the corrupted version of the Celestial Aura, which is the Evil Wicked Aura. I didn't really recreate our friend, uh, our friend Eclipso. Uh, I, don't, I couldn't find a headpiece for Eclipso, so I made a sort of... 
sort of made up version of Eclipso. And next we have the Mystical Aura. Uh, this Aura and the, the Quantum Aura are by far my least favorite Aura of the bunch. I guess we could add nature to that one. Uh, you'll see you'll see in a minute what I mean. And uh, in order to show off this aura, I recreated uh, what is probably the Sorcerer Supreme in the DC Universe, our friend Dr. Fate. I'll, I'll give them uh, an A for effort in, in order to try to reproduce uh, a pretty unique aura. But overall, it's, uh, it's a pretty, it's not a good looking aura. I, I, I wouldn't use that, use that with any of my characters. Although I've said that sometimes in the past and then I would find, uh, I would find a character that would fit really well with a specific look. So who knows, maybe at some point I'll find a, a character that would really go well with that aura. But right now, when I look at that aura, I don't really want to use it. At least, not, not at the moment. Here we have the nuclear aura for the atomic power. Uh, overall, the aura doesn't look bad, but uh, I'm not sure I would use it, especially with an atomic character. With atomic, you already have an aura that comes with the power, technically. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure if I would use this aura with an atomic character. I guess I'm going to have to give this aura to an atomic character and test it out to see if it's, uh, it's really worth it to use with atomic or not. Here I'm using our friend a Firestorm, even if technically Firestorm should probably use the, some of the fire aura, some of the scorching auras. Oh well. And speaking of the scorching aura, oh, there goes our, ca our cat on fire. Uh, speaking of the scorching aura, here's our friend the Sun Boy with the scorching aura. Uh, this is by far, far, far my favorite aura of the bunch. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll give them props for that. They did a really, really good fire aura. It's something that people had been asking for a long time, and finally it's here, and holy crap, does it look good. And also in a previous video, I had reproduced our friend uh, Sunboy here, and somehow I gave him the star emblem. I, I somehow I had completely forgotten that we actually have a sun emblem in this universe online, so here is a more quote-unquote accurate version of our friend uh, Sunboy. Although he also has his little friend uh, Starro with him. Uh, we got the, the Starro DLC not too long ago. Uh, so I thought it was kind of cute to use our friend uh, Starro a bit in a, in a couple of videos. So again, this is by far the, the, my favorite aura. And it seems to be also by far the most popular aura. Uh, because it's the most expensive on a broker. Uh, I, I, I was lucky enough to get one in one of the uh, Mega Capsules. Although, I didn't get it right away, like I purchased two Mega Capsules, and then I was crazy enough, I purchased the Scorching Aura for like 20 millions on the broker. And then when I opened two more Mega Capsules, I was lucky enough to get another Scorching Aura. So I'm going to make a, a, an evil villain character using the Scorching Aura, I just didn't make up my mind just yet as to which character I'm going to be using. And here's the Green Lantern Aura, it's called uh, the Glowing Aura. And uh, as you can see, it looks, uh, it looks pretty nice on our little Green Lantern friend. Uh, but there is, ironically enough, it's not very expensive on the broker, so if you want to purchase on the, bro on the broker, go right ahead. It's really not that expensive right now. Uh, I suspect that the reason is probably because we already have quite a few uh, green auras if we want to be able to recreate a Green Lantern character. Like we have the, the, the new aura that is the glowing aura, but previously we had like the green aura that you can see right there. And we even had the, uh, I forget the name of this one, the Emerald Mist Aura, if I'm not mistaken. So we already had uh, quite a few options. If we, if we wanted to give a nice uh, Green Lantern aura to our characters. So having a new Green Lantern aura for the Green Lantern power is not really a new thing, but it gives us one more options amongst all the other options that we already have. And of course, you're seeing here a sneak peek of my upcoming uh, Batman uh, Green Lantern video that I'll make uh, probably after this one. And as I mentioned before, the light power is one of the, the few powers that actually got two aura. There's an aura for the Green Lantern power. And there is an aura for the evil Yellow Lantern. And this one is called the Sinister Aura. 
Again, there's quite a few auras for the... Uh, if you want to recreate a nice uh, Yellow Lantern character, there's the Ember Mister Dora. Uh, and there's quite a few other Yellow Auras that I fail to recall. So, it gives us one extra option if we want to create a nice, evil-looking Yellow Lantern character. You can see it looks uh, really nice for your, your Yellow Lantern character. So it gives you one more option for an evil Yellow Lantern. And there is the Surging Aura if you're using a water-based uh, power. So if your character is using water powers, uh, this is an aura that you could uh, end up using. Uh, personally, I prefer to use the Seafoam Aura, but the Seafoam Aura was available for a limited time. So if you weren't able to get, the, uh, if you weren't lucky enough to be able to have the Seafoam Aura, I guess the Surging Aura would work uh, well enough if you're using water powers. So if you want to recreate your own uh, Aquaman character using uh, the water powers, this aura could work uh, for you if you want to. And here we have the Temporal Aura for the Quantum Power. I'm really not a fan of this aura. Uh, quantum Power is the power that I'm using uh, the most, so I am a bit disappointed by, uh, by this aura, which is probably why I'm using pretty much any other aura than this one. Uh, again, it's not a big deal. We have quite a few auras that we can use uh, to create a nice looking uh, quantum character, but I, I could not help but be a tiny bit disappointed to see that what is pretty much my favorite power, my main power, as one of the worst aura in the game. But if you like that aura, uh, more power to you. It's a dirt cheap on the broker right now. And speaking of dirt, here's the terrestrial aura. So if, you, if you're using the earth power, uh, this is the aura for you. It's, uh, it's not bad looking. I could, see, uh, I could see quite a few characters using this. So if, you, if you're using an Earth-based uh, powered character, uh, this aura could work for your character. And again, it's, it's pretty inexpensive on a broker. Quite a few of those auras are quite, uh, quite cheap on a broker, which is why I ended up buying uh, so many of them. There's a few where I had to pay a little more in order to be able to get them, which is why I'm, I'm always broke uh, these days. There's always uh, an aura that I see for somewhat cheap or fairly cheap that I decide to buy uh, on the broker. But again, as you can see, it's a pretty nice looking aura. So if you're playing a, an Earth-based character, uh, this aura is perfect for you. And here is the Wild Aura for the Nature Power. This aura is really, really, really cheap on the broker. So if you want to buy it, buy it right now, because uh, I doubt it'll be that much cheaper in the future. It's quite possible that the price could stay very low for a long time. But right now it's probably probably when the, the price will be at its lowest. Maybe in the, in, the, in about a week it could be about as low, maybe a tiny bit lower. But at some point, once uh, we start running out of those uh, mega capsules, uh, the prices of those auras will probably go up a bit. So again, I would strongly suggest if you want to have the the wild aura, like the nature aura that you're seeing right now, buy it on the broker right now. You can buy it for for almost nothing at the moment. Obviously. That's relatively speaking. If you're a premium player or a free-to-play player, uh, buying those auras on the broker is probably not really an option. But if you're, if you're a legendary player, uh, a lot of those auras are about uh, 2 million, some even 1 million. And this one was even less than a million. It was like uh, almost 500,000 when I bought it on the broker. So again, this one is really darn cheap right now on the broker. So if, you, if you're using nature power, if you like this aura, I would strongly suggest go buy it right now. Here we have the Watchful Aura that was made for the Munition Power. Ironically enough, I'm not using the Munition Power of this character, but I thought for a, a Brainiac type character, I thought this aura was perfect. So I grabbed one of those. Actually, I grabbed this aura for a couple of my characters. Again, it was in the, it was pretty cheap on a broker. I played a broker a lot. I play I played a broker probably more than any sane man ever should. So whenever I see one of those auras for very cheap, I buy it right away. So I bought quite a few of those uh, of this uh, this aura for um, at least a couple of my characters. Here I have the sparking aura for my flash character. 
as you can see it looks uh, really nice it looks better from up close and uh, from afar well, let's show it to you from afar uh, no we still see it fine here but there's a few a few like i remember when they showed it on the live stream on the official dco live stream i barely could see it but here we can see it uh, much better so I bought it for this character, uh, my multiverse character. I probably should buy it for one more character, like my evil zoom uh, character. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to keep on uh, playing the broker in order to be able to buy at least to buy at least one more of this uh, the sparking aura. So as you can see, if you if you want to create a flash character, this aura works more than fine to create a nice looking flash character. I showed it already in my flash video. So if you want to see more, like uh, you, if you want to see how the aura works when the character is running and all that good stuff, uh, go check my flash video. You should be able to see all of that. And here's the mechanized aura. And it's the aura for the gadget power. It looks uh, pretty, pretty nice looking. I can see quite a few uh, techno-based character that would use uh, this aura. It kind of reminds me of, uh, there was this character in The Flash at some point I call uh, Kilgore, who was pretty much like a techno-organism or something like that. And I seem to recall he had uh, some sort of motif like that around him uh, sometimes. It wasn't really an aura, but it was like some sort, some sort of visual effects. So I suspect uh, they took inspiration from um, a similar character. So this is, I would say, one of the, the nice looking auras. And that is pretty much it for the power auras. Obviously, if you guys have been uh, watching my video for some time, you've seen that uh, for a while I've been using the, the fire aura or even the enigmatic aura with uh, my controller armory. Again, the fire aura looks way too nice not to use it. So I had to use it on at least one of my armories. So that's pretty much it for the power auras. Again, as I mentioned, there's a few of those auras that are really, really dirt cheap on a broker. So if you're still missing a few auras, I would strongly suggest if you're really looking for one specific aura, uh, don't don't open uh, Mega Capsules. Just buy it straight from the broker. Uh, if you don't mind getting any of the, the there's like 17 auras. So the odds of getting the the specific aura you want from the Mega Capsules are really slim. So if you don't mind getting uh, a, a different aura and then selling it on the broker. Uh, it's as you wish. Although, be warned, like there's only really the fire aura that's worth a lot of money. There's a couple of auras that are worth like three or five millions, but pretty much all the other auras you can get, if you shop the, on the broker quite a bit, uh, you can get most of those auras for like two millions on a broker, and some even less than one million. Again, if you really play the broker and if you go to the broker as often as possible, you should be able to get those auras at a pretty good price. So if you want to purchase a Mega Capsules, sure, go ahead, but be warned that I've seen quite a few complaints on the forums of people who purchase a whole bunch of Mega Capsules and who did not get the valuable aura, like the, the Scorching Aura. So if you purchase the Mega Capsules, odds are you're going to get uh, an aura that's worth maybe 2 million at most. So if you're, if you're purchasing, purchasing Mega Capsules hoping to, to make a bit of cash, it's, it's the wrong way to go about that. So that's uh, pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.